running a little low on Topo Chico, but that's okay. I won't go get my other one. You said you wanted to do a podcast with me, Jacob. So that involves me, sir. Social media. Let's talk about it. <laughs> All right. So I think I think I know where you're going to go with this for the most part. <laughs> so I'm going to try to I'm going to do my best because I, I know I'm going to agree a lot. I'm going to do my best to try to play the other side. But understand we're not talking about the Internet as a whole. We're talking about social media. I realize this is ironic because this is a YouTube video on this exact thing so can you have one without the other social media without the internet it'd be a lot more difficult yeah see and i mean that's and i think really what i get at with social media is i mean my current state of social media is on my phone right now i have instagram mm -hmm. i have snapchat mm -hmm. and i have reddit those okay. are and youtube like I, I will count youtube as social media yeah um, the one that i interact with the most is probably youtube because mm -hmm. like, i use basically youtube is tv in my house like we don't we don't have cable so we just right. watch all the di various youtubes that we subscribe to and just various videos so mm -hmm. Instagram like goes on and off my phone right like, if it's a period of time where like I know I have a lot of photos to post for mm -hmm. like my website then it'll be on my phone because I, I can interact with people and sometimes I do get jobs from that stuff so it's good to be able to like answer messages in real time right but otherwise like it's off my phone and on my iPad um Twitter's on my iPad but like I don't even check twitter anymore like mm -hmm. twitter is such a weird thing because twitter you really only use for news now i guess which is weird um i don't know news in real time and the, the way that i see it like you get twitter typically knows about things first because people are always tweeting about things as they're happening so a lot of times it's just a free-for-all on there when like there are big events going on and i yeah. think my issue with social media was like it felt like during the pandemic, the the powers that be in like these companies and people who make these apps and things like that, it seems like they were finally just like, all right, like, fuck it. Like, we don't have to hide anymore. Like what this actually is. Mm -hmm. And like, now we know what social media is. Like, we know it's bad for us. Like there mm -hmm. are, studies upon studies upon studies that says that social media is not good for you like mm -hmm. spending extended amount of time on social media is not good for you mm -hmm. and yet like no you'll never hear like just like we were talking about addiction last time like you'll never hear people being like well you need to talk to people about social media addiction like mm -hmm. on the level that you hear about yeah. alcohol and things like that at least i think by the time you do hear about that will be so far down the road like someone will have actually figured out how to do the metaverse like but in a way that people would actually want to fucking use it mm -hmm. so and and by then maybe it'll be like well maybe yeah, social media is this weird thing but by then it won't be social media anymore it'll be whatever the next in the metaverse basically iteration of that is but yeah as it stands right now like when i scroll on social media mm -hmm. Like, it's just so, I always describe it as, like, that episode of South Park where Stan, like, is starting to get older, mm -hmm. and when the radio comes on, it's just, like, fart noises. Yeah, yeah. And, like, when he goes to the movies, it's just, like, fart noises. It's the same thing. Like, that's what social media has become to me. It's, like, I think a couple of weeks ago, there was, like, a guy skateboarding and, like, playing bass at the same time and, like, doing one other thing. Mm -hmm. And I'm, like, I scrolled past it, right? Mm -hmm. And like as I registered what I saw, like right. I scrolled back up and looked at it. And I was like, man, like this dude probably took half his day 
to do a video to catch my attention for like half a second mm -hmm. like no one should be doing anything like that for other people like only only in social media is that acceptable and i don't understand how we've gotten to this point that that's okay well i don't well i think that the use of social media for attention is extremely negative um but like that guy that's something that he did you know yeah i caught your attention for a second but that's not that's not the thing that like yeah he could be using his time better i guess but that's not the thing that really bothers me with social media i think it's like these really negative effects that it has on you and i think that one thing you touched on is like as you've gotten older i think maturity does come into play with it there's like our parents generation is at the point where they think everything it, on social media is real so they're getting trolled they're you know they're having those dumb arguments and shit like that. the younger generation is still having fun with it like oh my god becky did this and the high school party's <laughs> over here and like we're in between that where we go it's stupid to use it for that and it's stupid to use it for that um and so I'm just going to post this meme about farting and inappropriate timing. And then I'm going to get off social media. Like that's pretty much where I'm at with it. And, yeah. and, it, and the maturity thing is like, yeah, I don't need it. Like it's, yeah, it, it's, I don't boring. feel good on it ever. Like, right. Right. Yeah. At no point in time. Do I ever. And, it, and I'm not saying it doesn't have its place because I do later. I want us to like talk about like, what it can be used for that's good like you know what right. I mean? but i think like when you really think about social media like what we were it became we're different because we saw it from the beginning mm -hmm. i remember i distinctly remember when my dad brought home like the first family computer mm -hmm. i like that was an event at the yeah. house like <laughs> yeah that we had that we had a computer and it's also like kind of funny too because you think back on things like this from your childhood and like for you it was like oh like we got a computer and it was such a big deal and then like you realize oh it's such a big deal because like your parents like they weren't doing too hot and like it was it was a big deal because yeah. like, they had to legit save up to like get that shit and that yeah better education and like we're and you could always tell like how big of a display they made it like we got yeah, this room, computer bro. let's all sit down and learn how to use it oh you scrounge for that one all right, all yeah, right. Dude, we, we literally we all like we all like sat around as my dad like yeah. put it together and then like when it was when it was on we like took turns using <laughs> like, yeah yeah it, like you know what i mean and like i got to stay up late that night and, yeah you know because like it was such an event and going from that to like that was when a kid a kid and then like yeah. AOL instant messenger yeah MySpace and then Facebook yeah. so we've seen all of it and mm -hmm. only until recently did I like really figure out that like even us as 90s kids like as a 90s kid it felt like the internet had been around for forever but if you think about it now, like looking back on it, it had like just started. Yeah. Well, like, it got to the point where the mass public was using it. Yeah. And yeah, we've seen every iteration of it. And there's a correlation between like certain political movements and how negative uh, social media has gotten. Good. Like either which way you lean left or right, doesn't matter you you've seen that change like you know you used to get on there i'm like i remember facebook like number one you had to have an edu to get it so everybody yeah, was when that first came out you know? yeah yeah so like everybody made up fake edus and shit like that they like could they couldn't verify that shit so whatever um but like it was used more innocently i guess yeah and then no, somewhere 
Jeez. Somewhere it took a turn for like the flashiness of some people's lifestyles and, you know, the negative aspects of like bullying people and stuff like that. And it all just kind of took a turn and went downhill real fast. I would say like in the last probably 15 years, 10, 15 years. 10, 15 years, yeah. And it's gotten real, real bad in like the last five. But do you remember the beginning though? The beginning was great. Well, that's because like, yeah, you were going to have to run virus scan every 10 minutes because you were on LimeWire and fucking stealing movies and shit. But like, that's because we were innocent using it. Like we did nefarious thing, but like, like, yeah, it was more like, oh, like we can share all this information. Yeah. Like, That's... like even like the beginning you talk AOL Messenger like chat yeah. rooms where people were just stoked to chat with somebody yeah yeah nowhere Kansas like just yeah. like you guys had you know you were in a chat room for the same like little topic that you liked or whatever right then I think now it's become this thing where you feel when you're using it. And it's it it's almost like it was night and day from like when this all started and it was like fun to like connect with people and uh-huh. then like oh like oh shit like I haven't talked to that dude in you know forever and like Facebook's just automatically recommending them to me. Yeah. But now like it went to a point where like we were all sharing something and now all of those things that we have shared are being maliciously used against us well it's the same thing as any big thing throughout the history of mankind like you look at religion possibly there was good intentions and now look what it does money like it was intended for trades for services now look what it does to us like it our diets everything that like they get us to buy into they turn it on us uh, you know, uh, to who, us, it means whatever you want it to mean. But yeah, like us, them, who are they? Yeah, like, yeah exactly. <laughs> what are frogs? Um, but yeah, I mean, it's. I think it's almost natural at this point. Like, yeah, there was an innocent time where like you could pop into a chat room and everybody was friendly because it was all new, cool. And like people hadn't realized how negatively you could use it. And then it, you know, it started in AOL chat rooms, like just being mean to one person and fucking bullying the shit out of them. And then, you know, the next step is like doxing people and like all this other stuff. And it's like, I don't know. It, it's annoying but like i try to remember that there's positive aspects too like the you main one out of it. like yeah yeah i mean yeah there's still good things about it like i get on facebook and just shit post like i just post memes say dumb shit and i get off like i don't care really like to have a conversation so much but um instagram i use because like family follows me and they get to see pictures of my life and stuff like that so i think even though it has its negative aspects as well that's the one that i still value a little bit i never really bothered with twitter or reddit or anything but anytime i get on any platform it me that you're not on reddit i mean i know i i use it but like i don't I'm not I'm not one there. Like it's not something that I go I'm to every day. I'm like I have <laughs> YouTube. That's probably the one that I use the most. Well, yeah, like YouTube is the biggest thing. Like I'm always looking like how do you do this? How do you set this up? You know, and again, positive uses for, you know, the stuff, but it, it just it's gotten to the point now where I'm like eh. No. Yeah, and because even like Reddit, like I love Reddit, but like Reddit also has like this dark side where it has all this adult content on there. Yeah. So like I'm to the point now where I've like sectioned all that shit off. Yeah. So that like it's not just mixed in and like yeah with my feed so that I can like moderate like when I'm consuming. Well, that's what I did with Twitter. I made one account for like 
talking to people and then another account for like all the weird shit yeah. so that like you know if if i need information i can do this or i want to talk about horror movies specifically yeah. this is this profile this is this other one where i look at whatever else <laughs> like you know so it's it's a like but that's also weird that like you have to separate that like it's necessary yeah, because separated still every site every platform has that weird uh has that weird dark side to it like every single one and i think like the biggest one currently is tiktok like it is i don't use that at all i that one it missed me completely somehow and i'm i tried i think i yeah. think i tried once or twice and i was yeah. like i don't have time for this i, I was really yeah. at the time like i was really a, like even more against social media than i am now like, right i did a stint you know me i did a stint where i like disappeared off of everything mm -hmm. yeah and I yeah I, I do that from just time to time i think it's i think it's good yeah i think it's definitely healthy and it is it is cool that like you know the iphone now i don't know if android does it or not but the iphone now will like screen time like hey you spent oh, yeah. a lot of time today um on pornhub like let's try and cut it back some like you can do you it down in a minute like i had i did like that's how i started before i was just like i just need to take these off my phone um because i just started where like for instagram and twitter i could only be on them a total of 15 minutes a day and like the first like week I, I was like tapping that 15 minutes like in like in the morning in bed yeah yeah and then i land 15 minutes and then that little gray screen would pop up like you've reached your 15 minute limit for the day and i'm like oh no like the day's just <laughs> the day's just starting the day's just starting i just woke up just getting you like i'm gonna miss everything but you then, change the date on your phone so it gives you another 15 yeah, minutes yeah like and it's it's crazy to me because i had the thought the other day because i'm like i'm like reworking my morning routine right because mm -hmm. i like to get up early i like to go to the gym early um but one of the things that I specifically have in my morning routine is do not lay in bed and look at your phone first mm -hmm. thing. And out of the like getting up at 6 a.m. or earlier, out mm -hmm. of the making sure you're stretching and going to the gym and all this shit, out of all the things that I have to do in the morning or that I want to do in the morning for my morning routine, the hardest one is not sitting there right when I wake up and just allowing myself to wake up by looking at the phone but yeah. on the mornings where like i do manage to do it i am in such a better mood and it's it's kind of like the slightest of tweaks yeah in my mood but i definitely notice now that i've been able to do it like consistently for a few mornings in a row yeah like even if it's starting your day off with like shit you want to look at yeah it's just it's the way it's presented yeah the phone and like everything is just so like so hyper your shit because mm -hmm. it's all the data that's used against you well i've i i do the same thing like i've gotten up sat there and looked at uh, some mornings i've woke up looked at my phone and went this i don't even and then i just put it in my pocket and go on about my day and get out two hours yeah I, well, I've also woke up and like got on Facebook for two minutes and then been late. So like, you know, both of those things are possible. And I it's it's honestly it's annoying yeah. because it it truly is some form of addiction. But I have found that now when I get on Facebook, they target all these ads specifically to you. And it's about like articles and shit that you're going to do or whatever. I just click them out and then when it asks why i say harassment to <laughs> every single one even shit if i want to read it when it's like deftones adam sandler incubus play far away and i'm like <sighs> harassment like i just i just don't i won't fuck with it like the it, i it's just so inundated it's like i it sucks that 
our time and attention has now like they figured out a way to make money off of our time and attention mm -hmm. and our fears and our insecurities mm -hmm. like because all that shit just fuels it all like it just i can and it sucks because when you're in those low points especially you know, like being in recovery and you're in those low points like what's the first thing that you're gonna do when you're sitting at home on a Friday or Saturday night or on a night when you would normally go out and you're like, well, can't go out. Like, yeah, don't want to watch the same like things I've been watching. Like, so let me pick up the phone and see what everybody else is doing. Like, right. and like that's not that's not good for you. <laughs> well, no, it's not good for you. And not only did I do that with like my recovery, it like came to the point where it also was like a huge realization which is silly to even have to have but like you realize like oh life's gonna go on like this doesn't nobody's out there like yeah fuck it jake's not coming out we're not going out either you know what i mean like you just sit there <laughs> and you watch like everybody just continuing without you and it's like early on like yeah yeah like how how dare they number one and number two like <laughs> it yeah it's not good for you and all of it knows exactly how to manipulate you into something longer like just keeping you there for a little bit longer like i've gone out of my way to not buy things that i see on youtube at youtube ads yeah. like i put harassment on every facebook ad like it's just uh, like i obviously it's not doing anything but it makes me feel better like and it really does suck too when it's like a product where you're like fuck that is perfect for me yeah like sometimes man like they nail it and i yeah. i talk about like one or two things that i brought where i'm like i look at it now and i'm like damn dude i got i saw that on an instagram ad like you, like, you know what yeah. i mean well yeah. on facebook amazon used to come up and then it would be like Amazon deals. And then you could scroll to the right on the ad and it would show you everything that you were thinking about. No, like, it, it, like this is the craziest shit about this, right? So like using the example I just used of like, oh, you're sitting at home, you're already down bad, you know, right. because you're depressed or you're whatever, you're mm -hmm. 13 and shit matters, like, or whatever, like whatever it is. And so you pull out your phone and you scroll just to see everyone to some extent lying about what's actually going on in their life yeah, yeah. at varying degrees and levels, right? Yeah. And then the next thing you know, like, you're on fucking DoorDash because you see the DoorDash thing and you're like, well, yeah, dude, like, you know what? I am hungry. Like, I am going to order like a Taco Bell party pack to myself. <laughs> and while you're waiting for I'm that. I'm feeling attacked. I'm feeling yeah. attacked. <laughs> while you're waiting for that, you know, now you're on Amazon because, you know, fucking, okay. I wouldn't be so lonely if I had other shit to do. Or I just ordered a Taco Bell party pack. Maybe I could <laughs> order myself a fucking kettlebell that I'll stare at. <laughs> that will in turn sit in my corner of sadness and also make me depressed this one is getting too specific this is getting way too specific. Gonna get back on this fucking thing <laughs> and it's gonna start all over again anyways what we're trying to say is the iphone 14 is a wonderful <laughs> device get it it will ruin your life yeah, um like, and we pay money every month to yeah. have, to have yeah. the privilege yeah. And we can, and it sucks because, see, you're getting me worked up now. It sucks <laughs> because the thing that we're sitting here talking about, we're using a product that is a byproduct mm -hmm. of to have this conversation. Mm -hmm. And they're like, you know what? Even if you want to talk about not liking this shit, you have to use our fucking shit to do mm -hmm. it. Yep. Now, we could, we could, we could have done this face to face. We could have sat in a room together. Nobody would have ever known that this conversation existed. But mm -hmm. that's not how things work anymore. <laughs>
yeah i mean that's very true i mean i did say it was ironic yes i realize i'm using this platform to talk shit about this platform but it i mean i think that as time goes on and it's becoming a bigger topic about social media and how negative it is people are starting to realize that and people like even when you have a conversation like this using a social media to you know put it out there people go yeah all right but i get you like yeah you're still using social media but i get you yeah i kind of feel the same way and it's weird because well as far as i know as (laughs) as the internet and news would lead me to believe right the younger generations are going like there's a movement where they're going back to like flip phones and shit yeah they're like which so i'm like hey if if kids are actually doing this like good on them like yeah. if college age and high school age kids now mm-hmm. are seeing like what that shit did to us yeah then, yeah dude fucking tap out like yeah. by all please like stop using it because it when when that happens too like i feel like if we stopped using social media like if we as a whole in mass just stopped using it one day that would be almost the equivalent of everyone just not going to work like the the fallout that companies would have like entire companies would cease to exist in a blink of an eye like if people's like all those data collection companies like Mm -hmm useless apps all that bullshit like mm-hmm. that just goes into all that that would disappear like that if people just decided you know what no more we're gonna yeah. go back to the way that we used to do it like just give us calls texts <laughs> like, yeah <laughs> there was a time where i went back to a flip phone within like the last like eight years i went back to a flip phone and it's extremely hard so like if the younger generation can do it they they aren't as established in social media as we are like i have accounts older than some of the kids that are on social media you know what i mean like but if they can if they can manage it then i would suggest yes because the the issue that i always found was like I would have a tablet that I would have at home work on the Wi-Fi. I would carry my flip phone. And then at some point during the day, I would go, oh shit, let me look that fuck. And then two days later, I'm putting my SIM card back into a smartphone because of the convenience. Yeah. And like and sometimes think- it's the most sometimes it's so necessary to have it, but it's just the other times are so damaging that it's almost like debatable on whether it's a good thing to have in general. Yeah, not risk just, risk reward. Yeah. Yeah. Risk reward, 100%. And I'm like, I've been toying with the idea of like, well, maybe I'll get like a super cheap phone because now for my job, I have another iPhone. Mm-hmm. Now I have two iPhones that are on me all the time. Yeah. So it's like, <clears throat> I've been thinking about for my personal phone, you know, keeping my iPhone for some things and like some days, yeah, but just like a cheaper phone that I could just take the SIM out and throw the SIM into. And it's literally just calls, texts, right? And that's it. and like I have an older iPhone and I'm toying with the idea of trying to do it with that for like a week and just literally taking every app off that iPhone. So so I have the security of like, okay, if I do absolutely need to use X app, I can download it. Or like, right. if I need access to this, I can have access to it. I won't be completely like cutting off the safety line and doing it cold turkey. Because like you said, like, it's so embedded. Like I use my phone to log into shit at my job. Mm-hmm. Like you have to have your phone. Yeah. Well, yeah. You, you can pay for shit with your phone. Like yeah. in in certain states your license is on your phone now and that's just perfectly acceptable to have you don't you don't have to have your physical license anymore you can just be on your phone like cool okay good. like so i think there is like you said there's a lot of good but there's so much more bad and it's like no one at least no one told us because we didn't no, know we were the guinea pigs it didn't exist like you know yeah. what I mean? we didn't know how bad 
it was gonna fuck us all up. Um, and and I think I've always kind of had like this weird theory about like social media and that it's it really if you think about it it's it's virtual reality mm-hmm. because people basically live their lives on it yeah like people they show you what they feel should be an adequate representation of their life but like some of the people that i know that have some of the most pleasing social media aesthetics and like all their posts look great like are like the biggest shit shows i know Mm -hmm. and it's just like why do you work so hard to cure i i guess you can work that hard to curate a social media experience because sadly that social media presence even if it's fake and people know it's fake it still translates to some types of rewards in the real world yeah i mean it could even be a business it can even be your job and i don't understand that personally like me and jerry have talked before about what we would do like if we were to like get an offer or sponsors and we're like now nah, we're good just keep it punk rock we're just gonna fuck do it like that's fair and i think there's something to be said for that because even like people would hear you say that and be like like what are you talking about because they don't yeah. understand that the second you do that it changes well yeah it's not your voice anymore you can't say certain things like you get whitewashed into it, selling products essentially yeah. and it will it's, at least it's the start to that because yeah. that's that's the beginning that's the first small concession mm-hmm. that you make that leads down the road where you know eventually like people don't make it all the way there not everybody becomes a successful influencer not everyone right. is going to be successful but the people who did make it there mm-hmm. like i bet if you were able to get you know have a time machine and go back to when they were sitting in their room just like we're sitting right here right now and yeah. they're just started like man like you know, if this blows up, like what you know, I don't know what I'd do or whatever it is. But if you went back there and asked them now and be like, yo, if you could make millions of dollars off this, but mm-hmm. you you kind of had to sell your soul a little bit. You had to mm-hmm. change a lot of what that you originally got into this for, but you are gonna make millions of dollars doing it. You mm-hmm. still want to do that. I have a feeling they'd say no. Because it no one steps like it's so rare that somebody just walks under your door and is like, you know, Joe Rogan, here's a $3 million podcast deal for X amount of years, right? Mm-hmm. It's going to start by one small sponsor saying, hey, let's sponsor you. We'll give you some free stuff. Just mention our product. Mm-hmm. It's the small ask, right? If I just immediately ask you to give me $200, you're going to say no. Mm-hmm. But if over the course of a month, I'm like, hey, can you loan me two bucks? Mm-hmm. Can you loan me four or five bucks? Mm-hmm. And then I work my way up to that 200. You're going to be more likely to give me the 200. Just like if you have a product that you're proud of and it sucks because we have to call it a product mm-hmm. or if you have a thing that you're proud of. I have this thing that I do that I'm proud of. And oh, look, all these other people like it when I do this thing. Someone's going to come to you and say, hey, we like that thing too. We want to make it easier for you to do that. But can you mention this? Yeah. And you're like, yeah. And then the next thing you know is going to be like, well, we kind of had some ideas for that thing that you make to make it better. Would you mind changing it a little bit? And that's the thing that sucks about it is because you start off with a good intention and somebody takes it, looks at it, whittles it away and like tries to make it as efficient as possible for them to make money off of it, for them to gain off of it. Mm-hmm. And then it just sends you on your way. I think a perfect example of that is, I don't know how much you follow this or what your opinions are, but uh, Roseanne Barr got into all that trouble, got kicked off of Twitter, got kicked off of oh, her. The Ambien thing? Like she was on her Ambien. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got yeah. kicked off her own fucking TV show. She was in the 90s and 80s. She was a very liberal comedian. She was very, like, you know, progressive. And be after this incident with like the whole twitter thing she's 
the only people calling are right wingers. So she put out a comedy special. Fox put it out for her. And she just went right wing and played to who was willing to listen, essentially. And, yeah, exactly. But that's but they're influencing her. Like, hey, we'll pay for your next special because nobody else will touch you. But we need you to mention this and you can't say that. And you know it's so wild that you can just take somebody and just shift them to a new audience and like that's kind of what we've created there's no one central audience it's just well if they don't fuck with you over here you know who is gonna fuck with you the people who don't like them right so just change your content and like we see people do it all the time with machine gun kelly 